when it comes to avoiding jumper's knee pain, we should do what we can to avoid pathology or at least not make our pathology worse because pathology is a risk factor for jumper's knee pain. So we can look at tendon. Tendon connects the quadriceps to the tibia. The patellar tendon goes from the patella to the tibia, so that bottom portion. And it is composed primarily of collagens. Collagens, this is what we're going to see when we got pathology. When we do imaging, we're going to see abnormalities within the collagen. So when we are talking about exercise, we are degrading collagen and then we're synthesizing collagen. So there's been this graph that's been made to talk about how often we should exercise, when we should space it out to keep our tendons healthy and away from too much degradation, possibly too much pathology if we're not getting a synthesis gain. So they made up this graph and have used it to say we need to space out workouts by 36 to 72 hours before we get a net synthesis in collagen. But to make up this graph, they actually used three studies. The first study was after one hour of running and they measured the Achilles tendon. Or no, not one hour of running, three hours of running. The next study was on a 30-minute 30, 30 continuous calf raise exercise. They were seated, their foot was in a certain machine, pretty intense thing. And the last one was a one hour single leg kicking exercise. It was 67% of their workload max. And what we can say from all three of these studies when they made up this graph is that these are all pretty high volume and or high intensity exercises. And when you do anything that's a crazy workout, you're probably going to degrade a lot of collagen. It's probably going to be pretty uh, demanding on your body. And then it's going to take longer to heal, just like with any other tissue. So using this graph to say we need to space out things by 36 to 72 hours is not totally true. It always depends on the volume and intensity. If you do a stupid dunk workout, you're out there for two hours jumping consistently, you probably need to rest a few days. If you only go out and jump max effort 10 times, you're probably not as much. So hopefully that helps. Enjoy.